Hi everyone. Today we will discuss final account. So what is final account? What are the uses of this final account and other concept we will discuss in this video. So final account will be prepared by the trader to know the business performance. So every accounting period he will prepare this uh, final account so final account will gives the trader about the company performance uh, uh, at particular academic year what is exact meaning of this uh, final account let me see final account of of a sole trader want to know the result of the business at the end of a particular period which is generally generally a one year so just now i told you the final uh, the final account is prepared to know the financial performance of the business he will prepare the this uh, account and uh, and also the financial position of the business for this purpose the trader will prepare various account so for the preparation of this final account he have to prepare various accounting process what are that various account means in final account he have to prepare trading account which gives him gross profit and gross loss and next after that he have to prepare profit and loss account which reveals that uh, net profit and net loss at last he have to prepare balance sheet complete information of the business uh, the balance sheet will be reveals and next wh what is and what is the need means to know the financial position of the organization and when he will prepare this final account every business organization will prepare the final account at the end of uh, at the end of accounting period and uh, what is the what is the uh, what is the accounting period of this final account means that is of 1st april to 31st march this is the accounting period to every business organization to prepare their financial account so remember 1st april to 31st march and what rule they will consider to prepare this final account means we have three golden rules as we know all the three golden account account rules are personal account real account nominal account among these three golden account rules they will consider nominal account to prepare trading account so what is the what is the definition related to this nominal account means debit all expenses and losses in nominal account all the expenses and losses have to be shown in debit column of the trading account and all all incomes and gains have to shown in credit side of the trading account so nominal account rule how to followed to prepare the trading account in final account next we will go for another concept in in the year three periods three periods are classified what are the three periods uh, th three periods first one calendar accounting period year we all knows that uh, english calendar period uh, that is uh, example 1st january to 31st december and next uh, academic year academic mostly institutions colleges uh, schools may follow will follow this uh, academic year that is june to april and next third one is accounting period so uh, accounting period means uh, that is april 1st to march to 31st every business organization will prepare and they will follow this accounting period that is april 1st to march 31st we have to remember the period when they will accounting preparation will be happened so next another concept we have to go that is types of business how many types of business mostly there are various types of business but uh, uh, we will see these types uh, of the business these means first one sole proprietor sole proprietor or sole trader means only sing single business owner he will be there in this sole proprietor he, in this sole proprietor only one owner will be there he will look after entire the business and all the profits earned
earned he will enjoy and all the losses incurred he have to bear so final account will be prepared in the concept of this sole trader so next we will go for another concept partnership partnership in partnership two or more persons will be there and voluntary they will agree agreed and they established one business organization and uh, upon according to their uh, according to their capital investment they will going to get profits and partnership account pro forma is different from from final account this concept of partnership preparation is uh, is another format we are having calculation of partnership we may have we will have partnership deed and uh, partnership uh, in including new partnership uh, partnership retirement uh, partnership uh, dissolvement uh, partner uh, death uh, that calculation of partnership uh, pro forma is another concept and next third one is joint stock company this is a joint stock company means board of directors will be there company directors are there shareholders will be there and other investors are there this uh, pre this com joint stock company format uh, will be in will be a company company account format will be there we will calculate according to that format uh, rules they they will going to be calculated. calculated and next another concept we have we will discuss that is uh, what is a trading account trading account is based on the nominal account we will going to be prepared so as i told you trading account is prepared based on the nominal account rule and uh, in trading account what they will going to be considered so trading account is divided into two two folders left hand folder is called as debit side right hand side folder is called as credit side in debit side all direct expenses will be included what are the direct expenses direct expenses means trader expenses happened while he is purchasing goods from supplier so while he purchased he have to pay some purchase amount and to transport that goods to his retail outlet some traveling expenses and labor charges that all direct expenses will be shown in this trading account so let we see the exact meaning the expenses spent to run the business to run the business what it is needed goods is needed where he purchase the that goods he will purchase from supplier so the, to to purchase the goods from supplier to to transfer the goods and to pay the wages for the labor charges the direct expenses will be happen to him and the expenses spent to get the goods into the business just now i told to get the to get the goods into the business all some expenses which will be happen to him that all excise duty and import duty carriage inwards wages these all will be included these all are called as direct expenses which is happened to the trader next right uh, left side uh, credit side all direct incomes will be shown in this credit side what do you what do you mean by this direct income direct income means whatever the goods he sold the uh, after sold after selling or that uh, after sold uh, <coughs> and selling of that goods he will get certain amount so that uh, is shown in this uh, credit side so the the income generated through direct efforts of goods so whatever the goods are sold is shown in a credit side so we got clear idea what is trading account next we will go for another concept uh, another concept that is uh, trading account what is the exact meaning of this trading account trading meaning itself gives us that trade means a business activity business means buying and selling where he is buying from the supplier he is buying whom he is selling he is selling to his customer so this transaction is happened between the people that transaction is called as trading account trading account just we will see the meaning trading account is one of the financial statement which shows the result of buying and selling of goods or 
services just now i told you trading meaning itself gives us business activity so 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 the trader will buy the goods from the supplier and he will sell and he will sell that goods to the customers he will buy that goods to retail price and he will sell that goods to uh, goods to retail sorry he will buy the goods from supplier with wholesale price and he will sell that goods to retail price so this uh, this activity is happened this activity it is called as trading account so trading account uh, the purpose of preparing trading account is to know the gross profit and gross loss means uh, exact how mu how much quantity of goods he sold and whatever the amount is spent directly towards bringing the goods he will just find out and remaining amount uh, is called as gross profit so direct expenses minus number of goods sold after deducting remaining uh, remaining if the ref left hand side is get more left hand left hand side is get less then it is called as gross profit if right hand, right hand side is get less it is called as gross loss so you got clear idea trading account is prepared to find out a gross profit and gross loss next we will go for another concept so that is business need to prepare to know the financial position yes trader will prepare the finan financial position that is trading account to know what is gross profit and what is gross loss to know the financial position of the final uh, financial position of the company he will prepare the final account among the final account trading trading account reveals that gross profit and gross loss so this is one concept and what are the advantages of final account final account gives him planning towards the finance and financial position to allocation of different departments and decision making it will gives so finally the final account gives the gives him more information to allocate the resources planning the budget and taking the decision will guides to the trader next we will go for another concept that is pro forma for the trading account so trading account pro forma is trading account format is like this so left hand side is called as debit side right hand side is called as credit side left hand side we are taking three columns and right hand side credit side we are taking three columns totally six columns are there heading we, heading will be trading account for the year ended as on dash we will take it as the date which they given we will write on on particular date so first column we have to write particulars second column inner column third one amount column next date column uh, next particulars column uh, inner column and outer column so these are the uh, these are the particulars and amount we will write and uh, starting left hand side debit side we have to starts with two capital t two and two opening stock opening stock means whatever the stock is left over last year that that stock we have to carry forward to next year that is why we will start with two opening stock next two purchase what are the goods he purchased that we will write in inner column if any purchases are there purchase returns are there we will deduct that one and we will write the amount outer column purchase purchase return deduction and amount outer column two wages means to transport goods from supplier to his retail shop uh, labor charges will be happened uh, happened that labor charges will be included in tra in trading account and the amount we have to show to show in outer column and factory rent to to establish 
any business organization he if if he took lease purpose he have to pay the rent and next uh, coal and gas mostly this coal and gas will be happened expenses in manufacturing industries or other industries like uh, uh, like manufacturing and uh, heavy industries uh, it will going to be happened expenses and uh, next to water charges for example water will be happened uh, in manufacturing iron and steel industries mostly water is compulsory that expenses is happened in those industries and next oil and fuel to run a plant or machinery oil and fuel is compulsory that direct that are direct expenses have to be shown in trading account debit side and lighting lighting light uh, factory lighting to 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 do the productivity in the business factory lighting is compulsory manufacturing expenses means to purchase the raw materials uh, to do the finished goods this uh, manufacturing expenses will be happened carriage inwards carriage inwards means carrying the goods from supplier to is uh, is organization some expenses will be happened custom duties and uh, this uh, bringing the goods from other countries freight charges means ship charges or air air transport charges railway charges that all will called as a freight charges and next import charges means uh, importing goods from other countries that will be shown uh, to to the trading account next octroyage charges octroyage charges means the expenses is happened one region to another region the they have to pay municipality charges that uh, municipality expenses are called as octroyage charges or octroyage expenses that will be shown in trading account excise duty this is also within the country some uh, with uh, excise duty within the country some taxes are imposed that they have to pay so these all expenses is happened to the to the trader directly that all expenses is shown in right hand side of trading account suppose suppose uh, let we see left hand side and right hand side which side the highest amount is there means for example by adding all these items names by adding all these items names which side left hand side right hand side or left hand side which side is highest the numerical value is we got that highest numerical value we have to show in both sides and which side is less that side we have to add the amount and we have to write gross profit carried down yeah, gross profit carry down so left hand side we have completed if left hand side is less we have to write a gross profit means it is positive positive balance he got suppose uh, sales left hand side we have to starts with buy and we have to write sales if any sales return is happened that we have to deduct and we have to write outer column and closing stock means in that particular year all the stock is all the goods are sold if any stock is left over we have to write in trading account by closing stock the amount and again we have to show this closing stock in balance sheet it uh, assets why assets side we have to show this uh, closing stock so sales sales return and closing stock we have to show and suppose if right hand side if we got less we have to write by gross loss and we have to write the amount uh, how much is less that we have to add so left hand side we have to write uh, we have to start with the two right hand side we have to start with the pi all of you remember carefully left hand side we have to write with the two and right hand side we have to write by write with right we have to write by that thing we have to remember so this is the format you have to remember and you have to learn these all items so this is about the trading account next video we will start a trading account one problem thank you all of you next video one problem we will discuss